We're out here at Lovely Camp Grayling. What we're doing to kick off this series is we're doing the Mumti man-on-man teaming shakedown testing. What that means is we're taking the vehicles behind me, one of them which you see is the Met D, and we're pairing them with their RCV counterparts, and then we're shaking them out and testing them and making sure that they're all fully functional before we go to ATAC for our soldier release, and then before we go from there to Fort Hood next summer for our soldier operational experiment number two. So we have four different platforms here. We have the METDs, as you see behind me, Mission Enabling Technology Demonstrators. Those are kind of the host vehicle. They host most of the uh, technologies. In the back of them, we have what's called oper RCV Operators Control Stations. We've paired two RCV Operator Stations to each RCV. We have our RCV Surrogates, we have our RCV Mediums, and we have our RCV Lights. Each of those have various technologies and capabilities across them that are paired to their corresponding MET-D platform as the control vehicle. It's been a good couple days out here. We're looking to get our Armament Center team integrated on the future for our RCV lights and RCV medium platforms, sharing that full functionality and getting that lethality package where it needs to be for the future program record and form that future program record. Since we've taken receipt of these vehicles, we've done a lot of software integration where we integrate a lot of our RTK WMI software, so the robotic technology kernel and the warrior machine interface system is what we utilize to control these vehicles, both from an operator standpoint and a lethality package. We have our partners here from DEVCOM Armament Center installing their portion of the hardware and software to ensure the full functionality of the lethality system. And we're taking this next step here where we've done our part as DVSC as a platform integrator to get those vehicles operational, running at the operator level, getting the AC Armament Center piece now integrated into that to ensure that full functionality for both mobility and lethality moving forward. So the RCV light prototypes serve as a recon asset for a maneuver element, a armor, uh, armor brigade combat team element where they, they move out in front of the formation as a recon element. So what we're doing now is proving the functionality of the crow system that are mounted on these vehicles to ensure that the lethality packages are functioning as a system so that they can provide that level of lethality to those formations when and if they're utilized in, the, in those types of formations. The RCV Lite is controlled by the MET-D platform, the Mission Enabling Technology Demonstrator platform. Which it has several upgrades within it. There's computer screens, gunner and driver operator control stations, where the operators are in the back of the MET-D vehicle, completely buttoned up, completely enclosed within the vehicle itself. They utilize the screens and controllers to control the vehicles, both driving, maneuvering, and the lethality package to actually fire the weapon system through those mechanisms in the back of the vehicle. We want to really get our software baseline and configured properly. We want to make sure that the vehicles are fully calibrated, and we really want to get additional test data in terms of ranges and capabilities, and, and really what is the complete set of capabilities that this entire three platoons of vehicles can do so that we can take that information and build a better mission scenario so that when we go to the soldiers at Fort Hood, we can say, listen, you have these capabilities across this vehicle fleets, and we believe that the best way to utilize this would be to look at a set of different training or tactics such that we can gain an advantage over our adversaries. 